Louisiana is full of stories, and there's no better way to see the real Louisiana than along one of our many scenic byways and highways. It truly is your roadmap to the great people, places, and food, and stories that make Louisiana so special. So I'm going to turn it over to Charlie Wynnum, and he's going to tell you what's in store on your next trip along our highways and byways. We have 19 trails and byways for the public to enjoy. Whether you're a history fan, you love cuisine, or a good Louisiana story and history, uh, we got it covered for you. One area is called the Bayou Tesh Byway, and it's kind of parallels the Atchafalaya Basin. A lot of folks are not familiar with this fact, but the Atchafalaya Basin is America's largest swamp. It's one million acres. It's larger than the Florida Everglades. So there's towns that are along this wonderful byway, New Iberia. I love this city. There's so many different elements to it. Picturesque downtown, which has been named a, a great American Main Street program winner, James Lee Burke. Well, he wrote all his detective novels in the town of New Iberia as the backdrop. So fans of James Lee Burke love coming to New Iberia and seeing the sights. Just outside of New Iberia is Avery Island, and that is the home of Tabasco. That's right, Tabasco is made in Louisiana, and the McElhenney family over 150 years ago first sold their commercial bottle to folks in New Orleans, and the brand has only caught fire ever since. Jungle Gardens is also part of the Tabasco tour that you gotta take. It's a 170 acre bird sanctuary. Now the McElhenney family was uh, very, very prominent in, in conservation efforts, and so they created a, a place called Bird City, and Bird City was created in the early 1900s to protect the snowy egret. Next, let's head to something called the Northup Trail, and it's located in central Louisiana and is very significant in the history of a gentleman named Solomon Northup. Back in uh, the 1800s, this free man of color lived in New York State. He was visiting Washington, D.C. and was kidnapped and taken on a train all the way to New Orleans and was sold as a slave. You may have heard about the movie 12 Years a Slave that won the Best Picture in the Academy Awards in 2013. Well, he wrote that memoir back in the 1800s that then was turned into a book. Part of the north of trail is the city of Alexandria, and in downtown Alexandria is the Hotel Bentley that I love. There was a gentleman by the name of Joseph Bentley, and in 18, in the late 1800s, early 1900s, he was working the, the timber mills, and uh, he was a pretty big deal. But one night, he needed a place to sleep. He was a little grubby from working outside, and he was pretty much uh, not treated well, let's just say. And he was pretty upset about that fact, to the point of he had the money and he said to himself, I'm gonna build my own hotel and not have any problems anymore. He did, it's this beautiful jewel of the South with uh, high cathedral ceilings in its uh, lobby and foyer. Um, and it also has a rich history pertaining to World War II because the, the famous generals of George Patton and Dwight Eisenhower slept there as well. And they have meeting rooms on the first floor where generals being generals are gonna be talking about future strategies of how to get their troops in the places they need to be to ensure American victory. And that's exactly what they did inside the walls of the Hotel Bentley. Historic US 80 is another stop on the Louisiana trails and byways that is fantastic. Located in North Louisiana, has some great Southern food in the town of Monroe. Check out, you might bump into them on the streets, a, a guy by the name of Corey Barr, who was in 2012, the champion on Food Network show Chopped. He has a, a great restaurant called Parish. Also in Monroe, if, have you heard of Duck Dynasty, the big reality TV show uh, way, a few years back? Well, it was all hatched in Louisiana, in this part of North Louisiana, along the US historic US 80 trail. Uh, the Robertson family, they have a 10,000 square foot museum with 15 exhibits. So even if you're not a fan of the show, which there are millions of fans of this show, even if you're not, you're gonna have a wonderful experience learning more about this family, the Robertson family, who are just icons of North Louisiana. 
A little uh, insider tip, go to their gift shop. They got all sorts of cool things, including what they're known for, the Duck Command Duck Calls. And, <laughs> and all the ducks will be coming before you know it. Maybe Corey Barr might even cook up a couple for you for dinner. Who knows? Another really neat item on the historic US 80 trail is Poverty Point. What is Poverty Point? It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and there aren't many in the United States. If you go there, you'll learn more about this ancient civilization and this ancient city. Do you like music? Well, the Zydeco Cajun Prairie Trail is for you because it is full of all of the iconic Louisiana music that most people may not be familiar with. I'm talking about Zydeco music, Cajun music, swamp pop music. A lot of folks all around the world are familiar that New Orleans is the birthplace of jazz, but Louisiana is the birthplace of all these other wonderful musics. And if you hit Bill Platt, well, that is the home of the Louisiana Swamp Pop Museum. Make your way to Mamou, and that is the Cajun music capital of the world, as well as make your way through Opelousas, and you'll enjoy the Zydeco capital of the world. So we're gonna start in the city of Natchitoches, the oldest permanent settlement in Louisiana Purchase Territory. It's 300 years old, founded in 1714. It's even older than New Orleans, and we pride ourselves on that. You're gonna explore downtown Natchitoches, the shopping, the dining. We have historic buildings that have been here longer than most of us can even recall. It is situated along the Cane River Lake, which is about 35 square miles, and includes kayaking and an amphitheater downtown for lots of places to explore. Then we invite our visitors to head downriver and explore the unique culture and the Creole culture of our, our plantations downriver. You see, Natchitoches was founded in 1714 by the French, and they encountered the Native Americans when they got here, and then soon later the Spanish came over. So you in this new world with these foreign countries who are forbidden to, to communicate with each other or to trade with each other, but they do, in order to make a way of life, in order to survive on this frontier. We're gonna head downriver to Melrose Plantation, the heart of the Creole community. That's where Louis Matoire, a free person of color, created the Melrose Plantation that we know today. And he was a pecan farmer, cotton. And then later, Melrose changes hands and it becomes an artist colony where writers and painters from across the country come and spend their time and learn all about painting and expressing their art here on Cane River. That's where you'll also find the works of Clementine Hunter, a world-renowned African-American folk artist who we are proud to call our own. One day, Clementine decided she saw some paints and a cardboard box on the side and decided to pick up her brush and she was going to get to town and she painted and she taught herself how to do that. She is the granddaughter of a former enslaved individuals. She was a cook and sharecropper on Melrose Plantation. And from there, she decided to paint what she saw, what life was like on Cane River. We have something for everyone. So if you're a foodie, listen up. We also have the Natchitoches meat pie, which is a mixture of beef and pork mixed together, flavored with seasonings and spices, wrapped in a dough pie shell and served up. It's a Creole tradition. It blends our French and our Spanish and our Native American history together, and it's delicious. You can stop at Lazion's Meat Pie Restaurant right there in downtown Natchitoches to get one. For those of you who like outdoor adventure, we have plenty for you to do. From kayak and canoeing along the Cane River in downtown Natchitoches, to hiking and biking the Longleaf Trail, which is part of the Kasachi National Forest. It features tall, long, pine trees that are found nowhere else in the United States. We're extremely proud and have lots for you to explore. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about the Creole Nature Trail All-American Road. One of only 43 All-American Road designated scenic byways in the U.S., the Creole Nature Trail is an outdoor wonderland. 26 miles of accessible natural gulf beaches, over 400 bird species spotted each and every year and it's the marshland. You know all those Louisiana seafood you love? This is their estuary, their nursery, so that you get those shrimp and oysters and crabs. As you explore the Creole Nature Trail All-American Road, you are literally one with nature. There are no cages, there are no feeding times. You will see alligators. 
as they appear in nature. A Zen moment, being out in nature and experiencing it. So I'd encourage you to begin your Creole Nature Trail journey in the city of Lake Charles and Sulphur, Louisiana. It's a booming metropolitan area. And one day you can have this fabulous outdoor experience on the Creole Nature Trail or fishing. And the next day you can be at a casino resort gaming, spas, lazy rivers, marinas, pool bars. It's perfect juxtaposition of, of both worlds. So in Lake Charles proper, you have two side-by-side -side casino resorts, Golden Nugget and Lobert, literally on the lakefront together. You can walk the free boardwalk between them or take the free trolley. Each of them have their own lazy river, marina, pool bar, 18 holes of championship golf. So yes, 36 holes of championship golf. We have live music most nights of the week and everything from Cajun to Zydeco, country to rock and roll. And the, for those of you who like the finer things in life, how about ballet and orchestra? Fairs and festivals every day of the week. One of our favorite places to bird is Pivato Woods Bird and Butterfly Sanctuary. It is the refuge where birds flying from South America literally fly all the way across and fall out into the trees. Butterflies, we also have butterfly migrations. I can be out fishing and all of a sudden the butterflies just come floating across the water because they're migrating as well. With 26 miles of beaches, there are always pelicans, white pelicans, brown pelicans. And one of my personal favorites is the great blue heron. Their wingspan is up to four feet long. If you're into horse racing, you absolutely have to visit Delta Downs Racetrack Casino. They do live thoroughbred horse racing, ride in the action, have a great meal, have some drinks, enjoy the races, maybe do a little gaming, and make sure you wear your chapeau. We're gonna go to some of the local seafood restaurants like Seafood Palace or Steamboat Bills, maybe Luna Bar and Grill for their Luna Tuna, uh, Tia Juanita's, and have a little bit of Tex-Mex barbecue thrown in with that Louisiana seafood. We've told you about Louisiana trails and byways, but we barely scratched the surface. To learn more, visit our websites and plan to come see us soon. As we say in Louisiana, laissez les bons temps rouler. Let the good times roll.